Hello everybody, I'm Gorgin and today I'm going to show you how to implement long polling in FastAPI. Long polling is an alternative way for websockets but in unidirectional instead of bidirectional. Long polling is an HTTP request in the way that server keeps the connection alive until something happens on server side or timeout happens. I don't want to talk about long polling theory in this video. I just want to show how to implement it in fast API. Anyway, first of all, I want to create a virtual environment to isolate developing environments. I use Conda. You can use any other alternative. Dash in fast API long polling and python equal 3.10 I press y and hit enter well I should activate this environment conda activate this okay and uh, first of all I need to install fast API on the install fast API done well, I should create a Python file. I name it main.py. And first of all, I need to import fast API and also async IO. And import app from fast API. Fast API. We have two endpoints. First is get an API for getting message. Async the get message. Well, and another API for sending message. That's an app dot post. Also call it message with different HTTP method. Async def send message. That is a message. That is a string. And I don't want to implement it yet. Save it. Let's define a variable called time out. I put it two just for test and it should be more than two and it should be about 30 seconds, less or more. Define a class called message container and private message field it should contain and the function for adding message to put message Let's call it messages because it's array that happened this message and also another function for getting message def oops def get message alt self and for I in range t 
timeout. That is two for now. If Then of self dot message be greater than zero. That means there is any message in our messages array. It should return the last message top. Well, else. That means we don't have any message in our messages array. Just stay wait for a second. Sleep for a second. Return none. If there is no message in our timeout range. Now it's time to create an instance from our message container message container equal message container. Message container dot add message and pass it given message. Let's return. message to be to the client message equals await for message container give us a message or none and if message is not known, return message as JSON. Else, we have no message in our timeout. So we have to raise an exception fast api dot http exception and pass 502 for timeout that is pretty standard for it sage and there is no message here if the client gets 502 status code, this means there is no message in our timer time. So let's test it. I need to open up Postman. I forgot to start our app. Movie icon main dot app. Well, let's. Um, First, get message, also non getting message. Client waits two seconds and gives us timeout if nothing happens on server side. And let's increase timeout from two to ten. Well, and stop it, start it once more again. Wait for something happens. Let's send some message. I send hi to it. We need to pass it as query parameter message and hi. One is once more again. Message hi given. Once more again. Waiting. Send hi and gets high once more again. Everything works perfectly. Note that this is not the best way for implementing long pulling, but it's the easiest way I know.
I just want to show you the overall, the general concept of blind pulling in fast API. And if you want to write efficient code, there is a lot of better way to implement it. So don't forget to keep researching about it or ask me any question if you want. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel and also put the comments below. See you soon.